Last Summer at the Golden Hotel by Alyssa Friedland is a novel that weaves together humor, family drama, and nostalgia against the backdrop of a once grand Catskills resort. The Golden Hotel, a popular vacation destination, has seen better days. Its former glory has faded, and the hotel is now at a crossroads, much like the families who own it. The narrative centers around the two families, the Goldmans and the Weingolds, who co-own the hotel. The family's patriarchs, Amos Goldman and Benny Weingold, were once the best of friends and business partners. But over the years, their relationship has become strained, mirroring the deterioration of the hotel itself. The story is set into motion when the families receive a lucrative offer to sell the hotel from a Vegas developer who wants to turn the property into a casino resort. This proposal forces them to face a difficult decision, sell the hotel and pocket the cash, or invest in renewing the hotel and preserving its legacy. The plot unfolds over the course of one summer, with family members converging at the Golden Hotel, each carrying their own baggage and hidden motives. The characters include Annette Goldman, Amos's cardiologist wife, who has always seen the hotel as a burden, and their children. Mitchell Goldman, the eldest Goldman son and a venture capitalist, arrives with his own plot to sway his family towards selling. His sisters Rachel and Rachel's teenage daughter Sarah also join, with Rachel trying to rekindle her youthful romance with her first love, who works at the hotel. On the Weingold side, we have Fanny Weingold, Benny's sharp-tongued wife, who is fiercely attached to the hotel and its history. Their children include Brad, who works in hotel management but has never quite earned his father's approval, and his teenage daughter Lila. Sydney, Brad's sister and the successful CEO of a lingerie company, is dealing with the recent fallout of a divorce and brings along her own teenage son, Darius. Each family member's personal narrative is explored throughout the novel, revealing their secrets, hopes, and disappointments. Mitchell's financial woes and desperation for success are laid bare, just as Rachel's dissatisfaction with the path her life has taken comes to light. Annette's struggle with her indifferent marriage and the loss of her job's fulfillment versus Fanny's stubborn insistence on honoring the past creates a tension about what the future should hold. Throughout the summer, the characters navigate personal crises, romantic entanglements, and family squabbles. As they confront their intertwined pasts and uncertain futures, the nostalgia of the Golden Hotel's heyday contrasts sharply with its present dilapidation. Old affairs and rivalries resurface, leading to confrontations and heart-to-heart -heart conversations that oscillate between comedy and pathos. The fate of the hotel hangs in the balance as the families weigh the merits of the developer's offer against the sentimental value of the property. The decision forces each family member to reevaluate what truly matters to them. The characters must come to terms with change, both in their personal lives and regarding the future of the Golden Hotel. Sarah and Lila, the teenage members of the Goldman and Weingold clans, play pivotal roles in the story. Their youth, and relatively objective perspectives on the family drama provide some of the most truthful insights into the failings and virtues of their elders. They are witnesses too and participants in the unfolding history of the hotel, the keepers of future memories. The setting of the Catskills with the loss of its former glamour as the vacation spot for the Jewish American community during the mid-20th century is continuously evoked. The grandeur of the Golden Hotel's past is depicted through recounts of vibrant social scenes, elaborate dinners, and summers filled with family and tradition. These glimpses into the bygone days serve to heighten the sense of what's at stake for the Goldmans and Weingolds. As the summer progresses, various events and moments of truth lead to a rekindling of old friendships and the start of new ones, the healing of family wounds, and the bridging of generational divides. Bonds are strengthened and visions for the future coalesce as the characters come to understand what each ultimately wants and needs. Finally, after deliberations, memories rehashed, relationships mended, and individual transformations experienced, the decision about the hotel's fate is determined. The resolution reflects a balance between honoring the hotel's past and embracing the potential of its future. The novel closes with a poignant sense of closure and optimism though not without the acknowledgement that change, however necessary, often comes with a bittersweet blend of loss and hope.
In Some, Last Summer at the Golden Hotel is a novel about the complexities of family, the enduring bonds of shared history, and the painful but sometimes liberating process of letting go. It's a look at how people can come together amidst their differences to face the future and make tough choices. The novel captures the essence of what it is to be part of a fading era and the courage it takes to either preserve a piece of it or move on to new beginnings. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.